Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, unfortunately, we're still missing one of our recipients, but hopefully they will uh, come in a little bit late. So, quickly, I'll introduce myself. My name is Officer Lori Edwards. I'm a school resource officer, and I'm the director for the Do the Right Thing program. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we've had a bit of a change. Um, I'm going to ask a very special guest to come up and give our invocation. And we would like to have Pastor Jimmy Downing come up to give the invocation. Let us pray. Our God, our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this program, Do the Right Thing. We thank you for Lakeland Police Department and our director this afternoon. And we ask that you would bless uh, all that are here, bless our nominees and all those who will be receiving honors this afternoon. We ask it all in your name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. You know, this is a program that we've been doing now for um, 13 years, and uh, I've been the director. Now this is my third year, and it, it just gets more and more exciting to me every year to see what our kids are out here doing. So first and foremost, parents, thank you for the job that you're doing with your children. We have a bright future ahead of us. As long as we still have kids like this, we have a bright future, no matter what anybody else might think about juveniles today. So, um, so I want to give them a hand real quick. I want to give you all a big hand and thank you for the job you're doing. Our first recipient is Brandon Alderman, an eighth grader at Sleepy Hill Middle School. He was nominated by Officer Doris Diaz, the school resource officer. Officer Diaz learned about Brandon through one of his teachers and was told that Brandon and his mother did a lot of volunteer work with the organization DiversForHeroes.org. This organization teaches wounded soldiers how to scuba dive as a form of therapy. Brandon says that it helps the divers feel more comfortable when they see him, a kid, jump in with them. He says he doesn't look at them as disabled, he sees them as heroes. One day he wants to be a dive master, but for now, he's happy helping to certify the divers. Justin Downing is a senior at Tanner Rock High School, and Tracy Seaton Jr. is a senior at Kathleen High School. Both boys were nominated by Mrs. Rose Rodriguez. Mrs. Rodriguez said that in mid-March, a dear friend and neighbor found herself in a life-threatening situation. On a Saturday morning, Justin and Tracy were going door-to-door -door seeking donations to help them pay for their participation in a football camp at Florida State University. At one home, they saw the homeowner fall and noticed that she was unable to get up. The boys, realizing they could not get in to help, called 911 and remained until EMS arrived and administered aid. The victim has made a full recovery and credits the boys with helping to save her life. Kevin Ellis is a sixth grader at Ellis Family Academy and was nominated by his parents. Kevin is 12 years old and has Tourette Syndrome. Kevin reaches out and helps others through various community service opportunities and bringing awareness of Tourette Syndrome and educating the community about it. He led the organizing efforts for a Tourette benefit held in Lakeland called Paint the Town Teal for Tourette. 
Kevin's mission-minded attitude of helping others led to its successful benefit where over $11,000 was raised. Carmen Gia Gutierrez is a fifth grader at Dixieland Elementary School and was nominated by her teacher, Jonna Luce. Carmen is a genuine person and an excellent role model who goes above and beyond expectations. She is a safety patrol and her post is in the cafeteria. While doing her required duties as a safety patrol, she observed a kindergartner who needed a little extra attention. Now she keeps an eye on the student, patiently redirecting him back to his seat, away from inappropriate foods, and cheerfully escorts him to his classroom every morning. Carmen was not asked to take on this task. She initiated it herself. She does this consistently, not giving in to the peer pressure or temptations of talking with classmates, goofing off, or waiting for someone else to instruct her. Christian Huntley is a ninth grader at Lakeland High School and was nominated by LHS Assistant Principal Mr. Jones. Christian was nominated for his act of bravery. He reported witnessing individuals placing an unknown item into a tree. Christian suspected it was illegal contraband and the tree was in close proximity to the school. Christian spoke with Mr. Jones who notified school resource officer Walter Dennis. If he had been seen by the perpetrators with school staff or the SRO, it would have been easy for them to conclude that he was the one who would reported the illegal drugs. Christian didn't withdraw from doing the right thing, even though he could have been placing himself in danger. Nakia Jordan is a 7th grader at Lakeland Highlands Middle School and was nominated by School Resource Officer Oscar Wesley. On October 17, 2013, the school was placed into lockdown for a bomb threat. Nakia's teacher was a new teacher and was unfamiliar with the lockdown protocol. Nakia took the initiative to place the classroom into the lockdown position and ran through a mental checklist of what needed to be done to secure the students and the classroom. Nakia's efforts were brought to the attention of the principal and the SRO who were very thankful for her willingness to go above and beyond and do the right thing. And ladies and gentlemen, at each of these ceremonies, we have one overall winner each time, and I would like to introduce you to our overall winner, Nicole Brooks. Nicole Roque is an 8th grader at Sleepy Hills Middle School and was nominated by School Resource Officer Doris Diaz. On October 8, 2013, after lunch, the 8th graders were walking back to class when Officer Diaz observed a group of students starting to form. As she continued watching, she saw a student walking towards another student and could hear they were exchanging words and it sounded as if they were arguing. As the crowd continued to grow, some students were encouraging the two boys to fight. It was then that Officer Diaz spotted Nicole as she pushed her way through the crowd and held one boy back and prevented him from fighting. She took the initiative to not only prevent a friend from fighting and getting into trouble, but she showed her peers what it means to really do the right thing. Mark Whitaker is a 7th grader at Lakeland Highlands Middle School and was nominated by his teacher, Mrs. Rhonda Youngblood. Mrs. Youngblood states, if a student's picture could show up next to the word integrity in the dictionary, Mark's name would be there. Early in the school year, Mark won a prize when he met the criteria necessary to be entered into a drawing in the classroom. When he won, he split the prize with every single member of the class. Honesty is another quality that Mark possesses. When he finds things in or around the class, he immediately turns it into the staff so that the property can be returned to its rightful owner. Denicia Williams is an 8th grade student at Sleepy Hills Middle School and was nominated by her teacher, Mr. Jason Bowman. Mr. Bowman says that Denicia is one of the most honest and trustworthy students he has ever had the pleasure to teach. Whenever someone needs help, she is always volunteering to help them. He has witnessed Denicia go out of her way to tutor other students and help to steer them in the right direction. Denicia is a leader and very well liked by her peers. She has been a member of the Student Council for two years, helping make decisions that will have a positive impact on the school.
The Lakeland Police Department would like to congratulate all our Do the Right Thing winners. 